Goosebumps is rated GB7 because it may be too spooky for Goosebumps fans under 7. All right, folks, let's have some fun, Goosebumps fans, and we're going to talk about the episodes. Well, there's it's going to be a mixture. It's going to be episodes I, I would so watch repeatedly and episodes that I'm like, they are pretty good, and I might watch it, but it's like not really repeatedly. So anyways, here's the two that I'm able to just straight up say on the top of my head. I would love to watch repeatedly is an old story. Yes. Oh, my gosh. And also Revenge of the Lion Gnomes. When it comes to the old story, do not think just because one character shares my name is the reason why I like that. It's more because I actually like the premise of the whole entire thing, you know, and also just the interesting idea of holy frick i'm pretty sure since she is a freaking damn witch she did this to so many damn families it's not just we got a aunt dahlia it's like no she has a freaking damn racket i bet she'd been doing this for decades maybe centuries there's so many kids that got turned old and their childhood and their lives got stolen just because of old cougars holy frick well, not really cougars but still holy frick that's messed the frick up yeah and no one wants to talk about it and what's even funnier is that even i was scared to talk about it you know four five years ago four to five years ago six years ago i decided instead of making a video i was like oh god i'm so scared to do this lots of people are gonna say some messed up crap I just put it on Tumblr. I just put a freaking post on Tumblr talking about everything and I left it like that. Yeah, I was, I, I myself was freaking actually cowardly. So there you go. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just looking through the list and if I do have enough time, I will also talk about the weirdness of season four, even though, yeah, it. So anyways, um, other ones that I actually would like to mention, believe it or not, Slappy is not in this free enlisting. Yep, because I hate his ass. <laughs> and just like, on a side note, just like uh, in Matt TV's The Mannequin, the quote is, yeah, that guy creeps me out. And that guy's not normal. It's not a normal thing. He's ugly. <laughs> oh, man, I'm glad that the person actually compiled all of them except they didn't make a new one mannequin versus mannequin and the person is long gone so he didn't actually piece them all together so you'd say it's complete but sadly it's not complete anymore so anyways the next one i would actually mention is the werewolf of fever swamp Believe it or not, I do enjoy werewolves. I did have the action figure in 1999 from Burger King, the Wolfman. I have to this day no fucking idea where the hell that freaking damn figure went. But lucky for me, I got two creatures of Black Lagoon. And one of them actually, when I tried to do the squirty water thing, it squirted out some weird green ooze. Well, not really ooze. It's more like seaweed-like substance. Ugh. Why couldn't one of those get lost? What the fuck? <laughs> uh, let's see. Mm, another one I would actually kind of sort of... Oh, did I mention... Yeah, I did mention Revenge of Lawn Gnomes. Of course I did. Uh, let's see. Um, Monster Blood. Yeah, definitely Monster Blood. Definitely more Monster Blood. Kind of. Because, well... He did something completely weird and horrible as frick at the end of More Monster Blood. So that's one reason why I most likely won't want to do it. But the first Monster Blood was pretty okay. The only messed up part is that they made it to be continued. So that's the reason why I didn't truly actually mention it. I did enjoy How to Kill a Monster. It does deserve to be mentioned. It does deserve to be mentioned. Um... Uh... I can't talk about some that I later saw, so that's just, I'm not in the freaking listing. Uh, let's see. I do have to admit, my best friend is invisible. I do have to admit, the voice of the kid that was the, the supposed ghost or invisible kid, he sounded like Casper. And that's one reason why I would have to definitely watch it again because I'm like, dude, it's Casper. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, 
One Day of Horrorland, of course, that should be mentioned. One Day of Horrorland, of course, should be mentioned. Perfect School definitely deserves to be mentioned. Werewolf Skin, oh yes, I will mention Werewolf Skin. Of course I will. And that's about, oh yeah, of course, the chill. The chillgy gets pissed on so many times. Sorry for saying that. It gets bashed so many times for saying, oh, it wasn't that good. Oh, it's so bad. Me, I said it was a decent freaking idea. And I wish they did like a Goosebump uh, pre Presents where it's like trilogy, but in book form. But sadly, it canceled within 18 episodes. And I'm like, oh, what the frick? I would have liked to at least have this and more Monster Blood because those are just showing the chops of the freaking writers. How good they actually are trying to actually do something. So, yeah, the trilogy, I would definitely say it's definitely a good one to watch. Would I watch it repeatedly? Not really, but it's one of those ranks of where it's like I would most likely watch it once in a while. Of course, the ghost next door should be mentioned. It definitely should be, especially the fact of where, for me personally, it's like, yes, my faith and my religion stuff. It's like, it kind of actually shows the fact of angel versus, or basically spirits and how it can be corrupt and the darkness over there. Darkness. He He's basically like one imp or whatever, trying to actually convince her to be turned into a demon along with them. And she has a choice of either doing her job, which is saving the kid or doing the messed up crap and letting the kid die. And well, now she's a demon. It's like she has only one thing to do for her to go to heaven. And she's not the Anna Lee, which Anna Lee came decades later. She is not the Anna Lee story where it's like, oh, she's been very selfish and she sucks ass and she needs to do one good deed to go to heaven it's like, or go to the afterlife. It's like, no, no, this is not what she's doing. She actually got appointed a mission. And who knows if the mission actually is like she was in heaven at one point, then they said, OK, we got a mission for you or heck, it's the fact that we're like, mm, we're not going to send anyone down or someone already died. It's like, all she got to do is just wait a few years. And then the person that she has to save and it's like she has the talent and skill to save him. And all she had to do was, of course, play the damn piano. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like it's so interesting how you can actually just put christianity into this freaking episode you can straight up do it and of course other people are like you're reading through the lines boy you shouldn't be doing this man lots of people don't like this they most likely are now is freaking casting you down with wooden spikes and fires you don't deserve this crap <laughs> it's like yeah but it does lean towards it if you actually look through it. And I would love it if I was doing, you know, if I was doing school and stuff and you're like, find a project. I would so actually use this as a project to actually just show the symbolism that they did, which they didn't mean to do. But lo and behold, they did because, well, like I learned in my art class is that sometimes when it comes to doing stuff like anger or stuff like that, Many people who haven't seen you do your artwork, you all actually mirror the same thing. It's like most actually mirror the same look of what anger looks like, what happiness looks like. Well, good and evil always sometimes mirror, you know. But anyways, the last thing to talk about is, of course, what's going on with the last bit of this. So if I'm looking through this, it seems that 22 episodes was the deal or 25 episodes or what's another one? Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, wait. I'm just damn you bastard. <laughs> wait, wait. No, no. It's showing. OK, good. Thank goodness. So 1925, because holy crap, it got very popular. Then it got 22. And then we have season four. And it's interesting that there's a space, but of course, that's summertime and everything. So, of course, that makes sense. Now, the only question, only messed up part actually mentioned is the fact of. Well. 
Of course, everyone can figure this out for themselves. It's not just me being like, I have an idea. I have a theory. It's like everyone can figure this out. There's supposed to have been more episodes. There are definitely supposed to be more episodes. Eight. We have for season four, eight episodes. Eight. I'm pretty sure they didn't want Deep Trouble to be the last episode they did. There's also claims that there was actually a Bonneville Snowman that was about to happen. And, of course, there's some rumors that the first one of Slappy, um, Night of the Living Dummy, was going to be made. But, of course, again, I'm one of the ones that's like, it had to have happened. I just need to find the actual proof. The person that I just freaking talked to, well, not talked to, I'm waiting for him to respond. He was the puppeteer of all of the Night of the Living Dummies and everything Goosebumps. So if I could get him to answer me, then I could actually get a true answer. And hopefully it will be the one where it's like, yes, it did exist. It got too messed up for TV. You were apparently one of the viewers that got to watch it. Like, no, I didn't. I actually was too damn scared. My friend was too damn scared, too. But it's like, yeah, the people who watched it was scared out of their minds. We got calls. We got freaking emails. Well, letters. And that's why the episode got tossed and destroyed. So it's like, yeah, they can't freaking redo it because, well, there's no way they could actually bring the episode back after it scared so many damn children. So it makes sense that it's lost forever because, well, when it comes to things that aren't, you know, children based, it's not good for children. You might be lucky like Dexter's Laboratory where they had the one where you had Dee, Dee and Dexter cousin. Holy frick. But other hand, you might actually be unlucky, which there's some shows that are unlucky, just like this one. I'm pretty sure that it was an episode. The episode got destroyed. And what do you expect? They're not going to put it on VHS or put it on DVD because guess what? It will scare freaking damn children. And they don't think that later years they could release it. Because, well, they'll follow the risk again of, oh my gosh, we scared all the children. We're getting lots of letters and everything. Oh, frick, this sucks ass. So it's like, yes, it makes sense that they got just, they destroyed it. They got rid of it. And, well, it does bring the question of, then what about Slappy? I mean, shouldn't they have had the original Slappy? And shouldn't they have actually filmed it? And I'm like, yeah, but I'm pretty sure some dumb idiot move happened where, who knows, maybe it's the funny part of where it's like, destroy it. We need you to destroy Mr. Wood. Destroy it. And, well, lo and behold, they took the wrong one, and it's like, oh, fuck, we already spent the budget. And it's like, we can't get another one because we spent the budget. So it's like, oh, that sucks. So... They spent the budget already, and they have no choice but to use the Mr. Wood as a stand-in for Slappy. Either that, or someone took it, or something like that. That's what I have to believe that happened. But of course, on the other hand, maybe it's just a scenario of the second one had the voice that originally happened with Slappy, which is completely crap. That's the first voice that got, Slappy got was horrible, and they had to go back in the drawing board, and, well... They got the voice that actually showed Slappy is someone to be afraid of. Unlike the previous one of where it's like, oh my gosh, his voice is so, so underwhelming. It's so damn funny. Oh my gosh. I'm still working on it. I know I'm being a freaking procrastinator and a freaking slacker, but someday I'll be able to find somebody who actually, that's the main thing. The real thing I would like to do is see someone who taped it on VHS Sunday night at 8 p.m. and I'll see it for myself with my own eyes and my own ears and then I could actually say yes it happened or no it didn't happen and of course lots of people were like well if it did happen then how come it didn't get ripped on the internet it should have been ripped on the internet well you think the people around here knows how to actually rip a VHS and put it on DVD or streaming? I'm just saying there's some that don't actually have that resource. So, yeah, I mean, not to mention the person might not have it or a person's like, I'm not a really much Goosebumps fan anymore and didn't think it was actually a good idea to do it or it's interesting to do it. So it's like it keeps on getting to the point of where it's like, 
there's lots of freaking explanations that are completely stupid of why in the world. <laughs> but still, yeah, this is it was cut short. You have to believe it got cut short. I wonder how short did it get cut? 